Hi, Tristan here. This presentation guides you through the installation of the Blender FDS add-on. We will go over where to download the files for the add-on, figure out for which Blender version the add-on was built and how to download this particular Blender version. And finally, we will uh, look into how to install and also how to remove the add-on. We start at the Blender FDS homepage and at the top left there's a link to the Git repository where the files of the add-on are stored. On the right hand side of the GitHub page is an overview over the different releases. Following that link, the most recent version is presented to us up top. To have a look at the release notes, we click on this link and here we see that it has been built for Blender 2.91.2. .2. Moving to the Blender homepage, we see that its most recent version is Blender 3.0. Since we want to download a different version, we move to the Download tab and then to the Previous Version tab. On the left side is a link to the home page where we can download every official Blender version. Scrolling down we find the Blender version 2.91. Here we have different installers for different versions and also different operating systems. I chose the Windows zip archive for 2.91.2. .2. Now to download the Blender FDS add-on we go back to the GitHub page, follow that link to get back to the main page. Under this green button we find different options to download the add-on. I chose to download the zip archive. For convenience reasons I stored both archives of Blender and the add-on in the same directory. Just unpacked Blender and we can just start it here. Starting Blender we will be greeted with the splash screen which also shows us at the top right the Blender version 2.91.2. .2. You can click somewhere else and the splash screen will disappear. If it is your first time starting Blender, you will likely be greeted with a menu that is asking you if you want to choose left click or right click select. Choose whichever one you prefer. If you are unhappy with the choice, you can always change it when you go here to the top left, Edit, Preferences, on the left side Key Map, and there you have basically the same menu again, left or right click select. Choose whatever you like and then at the bottom left Save Preferences. To install an add-on to Blender we also go to the top left, Edit, Preferences. On the left hand side we choose Add-ons and then we click on this button Install because we want to install an add-on from a file. Now we navigate to the directory where we have stored the zip file for the add-on. You can just select it and hit Install, there is no need to unpack the zip file. If it is not already active, go to the search bar and search for FDS. And then here the Import Export Blender FDS add-on hit the check mark. You will notice that there have been some changes to the user interface. So that will indicate that the add-on is active. For instance you see FDS code, FDS geometry. So apparently there is something happening. If for some reason it is not showing you the default Blender FDS scene, you can click here on this little triangle to go into the Details tab for the Preferences and load the default Blender scene. Now Blender will start in this configuration. Just demonstrate it, close the software, restart it again. And here we are. For some reason now it is not full screen anymore, so we double click the header of the window, go to File, Defaults and save the startup file. Start it again. And now it is in full screen and provides us with the default settings for Blender FDS. If you want to remove the add-on again, we go to Edit, Preferences and the Add-ons tab, then search for FDS and click the check mark. However, if we restart Blender now, we will realize that the startup scene is still the one that comes with the add-on, just the user interface is back to normal. Therefore, it is important for us to go to Defaults, load the factory settings, but then we would also need to save the new startup file because if we don't, again, restarting Blender, we realize that it will still default back to the one from the add-on. Therefore, we go to File Defaults, Load the Factory Settings, then File Defaults, Save the startup file. Now restarting Blender, we are back to the original default Blender. So now having activated the FDS add-on again, I personally like it better if Blender keeps its original user interface. Therefore I go to Edit, 
references. In the add-ons tab, I'm searching for the FDS add-on. <coughs> In its preferences, I am unchecking the simplify UI checkmark, which requires me to restart Blender as it's noted here. And also I need to save the preferences. For some reason, it doesn't always take it. Now restarting. And here we see on the right side, all the tabs are back. We went now over how to install and uninstall the Blender FDS add-on. And since everything is set up, we can now start building FDS cases. So thank you very much and enjoy.